Welcome back. You're just in time for What's Hot. This is where we talk about the stories that have everybody talking. We're joined this afternoon by Barb Bartline from The People Pro, plus Jeff Wagner back with us. A video of a father kicking his six-year-old son down a skate ramp, causing uproar on social media. Now the Florida Department of Children and Families <laughs> investigating this. The skate park owner says the dad is remorseful and embarrassed. Your thoughts on all this? The part that got me at the end is when, when the kid hit the bottom of the ramp and kind of... He just... Ah! Now, okay. Can you he, hear him? Yeah, he shouldn't. Have. Apparently, this kid is a skateboard prodigy, mm -hmm. and the dad was trying to encourage him to do this, sort of like you got your kid on the bicycle and you let go and, and send him, or you, you, yeah. you know, you push him off the diving board. But he shouldn't have done this. He thankfully wasn't hurt. My understanding is the kid was back later on that afternoon at the skateboard park. But it looks bad, and it probably but deserves. But how do you feel as bad. a kid wondering if your dad's going to kick you off the ledge of something? Well, and what I wondered about when I saw that clip is, did anybody go up and talk to the dad? Mm -hmm. um, you know, I view this as bullying. He bullied his kid for whatever reason, to encourage his uh, exemplar uh, ability to skateboard or whatever. But this is bullying, and I think an adult should have intervened and said something to the dad. Do you think people are just afraid to intervene if they see something like this? I mean, they'll think, okay, I'm just not going to look. It's not my business. Well, right, well, it's, it's some other people's kids. Yeah. It's, I'm not, I'm not going to tell somebody else how to raise their child. Well, that, and, see, and I disagree with you, Jeff. I don't know if I would say anything because I would be a little bit fearful of maybe what he would do. You know, would he become violent? Would he come after me? That kind uh, of a thing. Uh, Courtney, I think we all have a responsibility, though, to say something when we see something like that. In fact, I just did it on Sunday night. I was at a concert where young people and bands were playing, and one of the adults got up and complained, and I went up to him and told him he was out of line. These were just kids playing, playing the music, and they are needed to be more understanding. I think we all have a responsibility to confront bullying when we see it. Well, but the problem there is that people are going to disagree about what, what bullying is. I mean, if, if you, you might disagree with spanking a child. You've got the kid that's throwing the fit in the, you know, the candy aisle of the grocery store, and so mom swats them on the, the behind. You might disagree with that. You might think it's appalling, and I understand people would feel that way. But, you know, is it really your role to tell some other parent how they should raise their kids? Do you think this was bullying, Jeff? I wouldn't say bullying. I think the dad was wrong. I, I, I think we overuse the term bullying, but I, I don't think the dad should have pushed the kid over. But just like I don't think he should have you know, like pushed him in the deep end or whatever, I don't think I'd call this bullying, though. All right, coming up next, we reveal the viewer's choice topic of the day. And Brian got her back with another look at your forecast. His drives will stick <laughs> on the fairway. Barb Bartline's here and the aforementioned <laughs> Duffer, Mr. Jeff Wagner. <laughs> Viewer's Choice Topic, the U.S. Supreme Court heard arguments today on whether police are allowed to search your cell phone without a warrant. A lot of people think it violates their Fourth Amendment rights. That's unreasonable search and seizure for those of you who don't remember your constitutional law class. <laughs> Should police be searching your cell phone? What do you think, Jeff? I, I let the lawyer go first. Okay, well, no, I have no problem. I mean, here's the thing. When you get arrested, Police have the right to search items on your person. Um, that's why, I mean, it's not uncommon. If, for example, if you, are, uh, you committed crimes with a gun, you get arrested, they go into your wallet, they find a receipt for a gun, mm -hmm. that can be used against you. I just think that now you've got the technology, but I think it's the, the same principle. Um, and I, I, think, I think the Supreme Court's going to come down on that as well, even though I acknowledge that people have more information on their phones now than they used to. But to me, it's no different than searching an address book or something or like it, your purse or yeah isn't well, this really the same though Jeff as confiscating your computer and don't you need a warrant to do so um, most people now what it, what are the statistics about three-quarters of the people who have cell phones mm -hmm. actually have smartphones which are small computers mm -hmm. and that's the way people use them it's going to be very interesting to see what the Supreme Court does with this one what if yeah. the phone has a passcode on it that you yeah. know you need to know the password to get into it and you have stuff stored in the cloud that you can access somehow through your phone right. and see and those are all the the interesting issues because that the question becomes is 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 a phone the equivalent of like an address book or, or, or receipts that you would have in your wallet, or is it but more than that? Wouldn't a password change that? Because they would have to ask you for the password, and do you need to give them that? Versus just opening an address book. Right, well, and the answer is you, you probably don't, under any circumstances, you can't be forced to give you can't be forced to give like a password without a warrant. In that case, I think it's pretty clear that they'd have to go get the warrant. But I think for a lot of people, it's not password protected. You just 
flick it open, right. and there's the stuff. Right. Time for a lightning round. Spain proposing a law that would make children do chores and be respectful. The problem is it doesn't have any penalties if children don't fulfill those requirements. Is there really a need for a law? What's going on in Spain? With They're brilliant in Sp they are brilliant in Spain because they take that siesta in the afternoon where they well, nap I for a couple that. of hours I love and now that. they now they're going to force kids to be respectful Jeff yeah I'll, I'll tell you the law I would like to see I'd like to see some kind of law or legislation that parents have to take parenting classes to have children that would be a good law because we really don't teach that anywhere and uh, you know there's a lot of people out there that come into parenthood without much uh, knowledge of it Saying that, however, I would have loved to have some kind of jurisdiction that my kids have to, to respect jail me if and you do don't clean chores. your room. Yeah. yeah. What, what, on, that, on your point, Barb, what's the old joke that you need a license to catch a fish, but mm -hmm. any you know what can have a child? Is yep. that the kind of thing? Is that how it works? Um, yeah, I, my big question is, okay, what is what is the penalty? What are you going to do when that seven-year-old lips off to you at the dining room table? Do you grab him by the ear and take him down to the local constable? Um, he's... Deal with it. <laughs> Deal with it. That's what you. That's what you have timeouts for. Th things we love the Spanish for: siesta, mm -hmm. sangria, mm -hmm. tapas, dinner paella. at nine o'clock. Dinner at I mean, nine. Very yep, civilized. Yep, the late, nice. the late, nine usually dinner. Some good paella. Yeah. And and now we have kids that are going to respect you. Yeah. And did we mention sangria? Let's oh yeah, go we to did. Spain. <laughs> What's hot from Spain? <laughs> that discussion will continue online. Find the page at tmj4.com/hot. Iberico ham. Coming up, Storm Team Forecaster.